anywhere on the planet, whenever the temperature drops below freezing, outdoor ranks appear. These fields of winter bring entire communities together, both young and old. In Canada, hockey and rink culture is closer to a religion than a simple sporting pastime. It's part of our national identity and is a unifying force in a country of 38 million. The sport is often a rite of passage between fathers and sons, mothers and daughters. Generations upon generations, Canadians grew up with outdoor rinks and decades later, the tradition continues. When the temperature drops, we are not deterred by the chill of winter. We embrace it by rolling up our sleeves, shoveling, flooding and building rinks to play a game that is as unique as the country it originated. From coast to coast to coast, hockey influences Canadians, with children often learning to skate as soon as they can walk. Across the nation, on frozen backyard ponds, rinks and arenas, we are playing our national winter sport, a game that is connected to a sense of what it means to be Canadian. It could be said that it is our most identifiable icon around the globe. Many of us seem to share a different version of the same memory of good friends, family, hard work, and great times. The Canadian $5 note depicts a winter scene of children playing pond hockey and learning to skate. The note includes the poem, The winters of my childhood were long, long seasons. We lived in three places, the school, the church, and the skating rink. But our real lives were on the skating rink. Together with friends and family, new and old, we set out on a frozen lake in Ontario, Canada to make some new memories and keep the tradition alive. Right now I am driving on an ice road. Check it out. Look at that sunset. We're going to be building a rink for a big weekend next weekend. We're going to play a game of shinny with a bunch of people and just have an all around awesome winter experience. Pretty cool out on the ice without this road. I don't think I'd be getting anywhere. It's real deep. Look at that. But uh, just going to be pulling up to the place here and um, going to start working on the rink. Lots of work, already got a chunk done, but getting up a week early, so uh, it might be manageable if the uh, weather cooperates. Look what we got going so far. So a little bit nerve wracking driving the truck out on the ice for a few reasons. There's plenty of ice, I'm not worried about breaking through, but the snow is very, very deep and there's slush and we're having some warm weather. Uh, and if you get some wind, this, the road can drift over and you're sitting dock, we're about uh, three miles out here um, from the uh, closest maintained road, uh, water access, driving on the lake. So anyway, but um, the rink looks like, uh, it's coming along, it's been bigger in other years, but it should be good enough. Uh, it's not skatable yet, it's uh, pretty rough, so it's gonna take a good bit of maintenance to uh, get there. It's above freezing right now, hopefully it drops below freezing here tonight and I can throw another coat of, coat of water on it and flood it up, but right now I'm just gonna scrape it, try to smooth it out as much as I can, get rid of air pockets, get rid of some of those little bumps, and then with a coat of water we should have it pretty good and uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully the weather cooperates with us and we're out here next weekend playing a game of shinny and just having a blast. Oh, gas. <laughs> Not easy.
Samba Snowbank. All right, we're doing it. It is probably about 10 o'clock, minus 15 Celsius, uh, a tovering around zero Fahrenheit. And we are on a frozen ice road. We're hiking out about 5K, we've gone about one kilometer. And um, you know, we're, we're making it. Hopefully this road keeps up. I'm feeling a little guilty about leading this entourage out here in the pitch black with a hammering north wind, but. <laughs> <laughs> in a bag of slush but uh we'll just we'll pretend like everything's good so we got uh how many we got here six and we ditched jim's coming but we ditched him he sounded sad but i was like yeah we're cold and you're you're really late how rude of you so anyway you probably can't see this but we're moving on the white and pink shows up well on camera ryan you can't see heather you can't see Grizz and Bella, you can see. Can't see you guys. You guys are bugging out, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, there's a lot of slush. The road is really good right now, but I feel like some of this slush, you'll probably crack through, uh, even though we can walk on it. So, I'd be careful. Looks pretty bad. Yeah, it's probably fine, but I'll let you go, but uh, call me if something happens. So uh, we're about halfway, and Jim decided to bomb out in his forerunner. Kind of kind of nutty, but he made it, and uh, he's going to just park here and pick it back up on his way out. So should be fine. The road's really drifted over, but um, I think it'll be fine here. So I don't know if this is the best time to tell you, I forgot my skates. Mine are in Tori's car, so she left with them this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's almost just funny. I wonder if wax would prevent that. Eh? I think so. Uh, yeah. Like a, pa like a pacer spray yeah. on wax would. Yeah. Nate saving the day with his avalanche shovel. Like a prepared yeah, outdoorsman. You might come, uh, come I have against the exact some super... same one. And you know what I did? I left it in my truck like a dummy. Abbey conditions that on the lake, you never know. You don't. Your beard is looking fantastic. And if it gets any crazier, we could just dig ourselves a grave. It does, doesn't it? it? You know? Let's get a close up of that beard. The raven. Yeah. Mm. You guys are about halfway. We're a bit more. A bit more? Okay. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah. Do you want this in here? No, I got I got some in here. Oh look at this dog. Good boy, Moose. Yeah, we're like two thirds. Okay. All right, so I am just here on this 
beautiful day on this frozen lake. And uh, I'm with Alexis Outdoors and her husband Ryan, Nate Muskoka and his girlfriend, my brother Jim Baird Adventurer, and my wife Heather. And we have hiked out here in the pitch black through slush, quite a slog last night, and uh, to make it up here so that we can play a game of pond hockey. And it should be pretty exciting. The next big challenge we have is clearing the snow off this, this rink here. And there's quite a bit of snow on it. Um, last weekend I came up, I actually drove out and um, me and Heather worked on the rink, but we got, I don't know, a foot and a half of snow midweek and that's making it, you know, a lot more challenging. So, you know, we're gonna start pouring on the coal here. Hopefully everyone's not too pissed at me for promising them, you know, a fun, leisurely experience. Uh, but it is what it is. And so we got a nice day. It's probably about, uh, I don't know, 15 Fahrenheit, uh, uh, whatever that is, minus seven or something Celsius. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful freaking day. Can't wait to just start breaking my back. Like the last shot of me like finishing it. We got Alexis Outdoors and Nate Muskoka. We brought him here to do all the hard work. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> um, so yesterday was, was like the most fun ever walking out in the pitch block through slush or? Type five fun. Type yeah. five. <laughs> Type it five. Was, uh, yeah, a bit of a suffer fest. Everything from now on is going to be a breeze. Yeah. yeah, it actually shoveling this is a breeze compared yeah. to that. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Uh, do you feel lied to? <laughs> do I feel lied to? Right. Uh, Somewhat deceived. Like, do you feel like I made it sound like it was going to be easier than it was? No, I think you were just trying to simplify an explanation totally, yeah. of our method of travel to get here. I also think you truly did not know how bad yeah. the snow conditions were. Right. It, well, this is all since Wednesday. There was no snow here on Wednesday. So, yeah. as of so Wednesday. We, we, we slogged through everything from boot deep slush to windblown crust to and three feet of fresh snow, yeah. through glare ice, uh, yeah. snowmobile trail, ice road, um, fresh snow. You name it. A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was like a goodie bag of uh, <laughs> a goodie <laughs> bag of pulk pulling methods. We even had a truck on the ice. At we one did. Point. Yeah, the truck is somewhere. The truck is somewhere way back there, and hopefully still will be tomorrow. But we'll see. <laughs> hopefully it's frozen in. We get yeah. to chisel it out. Yeah. Yeah. That would be. Yeah. That would top off the weekend. There's going to be some tense moments for Jim uh, until we round the corner within sight of that, I think. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, we're here and we did it. And, uh, we have a gorgeous day. Yeah. Gorgeous. And uh, as usual, the dogs are always having way more fun than any of the people. Pretty yep. sure. What about you, Heather? Did you have fun? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Got a lot of exercise. Were you kind of like broken a bit yesterday? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But I feel good today. So was I. Muscles are burning. All the couples are still together. Yep. That's a good sign. Yep. So far so you know? Yep. I think, anyway. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> nice. Well, I got, I, uh, yeah, if I just blamed, I blamed you, so. Right. Yeah. That's a good, it's working out that's so a far. good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's working out so far. When in doubt, blame yeah. Ted. And we even have like a new romance maybe blossoming here oh, between yes. Bella and Grizzy. Um, oh. both, neither one of them are fixed. Uh, their puppies will be going in the millions. <laughs> yes. Christine. Yes. How are you doing? Great. Better than yesterday? Yes. A hundred percent. Morale is up. How was the hike in yesterday? I don't want to talk about it. She doesn't want to talk about it. That's not a good sign. That means it was pretty hard. Do you yeah. feel lied to? Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nate already admitted that he'd lied to her. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but no, just really deep snow. How long did it take? It's like over two hours, eh? Way over two yeah. hours. Of like consistent walking through slush and yeah. deep. Backbreaking yeah. labor. If we had yeah. to go another foot, we would have just had to build, stop and build a Quincy. Right. People are talking to us still, though, so that's a good sign, Ted. 
Right. Yeah. So. Well, they're, they're stuck here now. So <laughs> right. Yeah. They might moved. never once they leave. That's a good but. point. Anyways, everybody seemed to, definitely type two fun. We'll call it. But right. everybody did an awesome job. So morale seems to be up, uh, which is good. When I got here last night, I kind of briefly came over and checked. <laughs> How rude of you. Check the depth of the snow on the rink and realized it was a good foot and a half to two feet. And I just decided to keep that to myself until today, um, which I think was a wise decision. Uh, the snowblower's also not working, but Ryan is working on that. Uh, but we're getting somewhere with the shovels in uh, true pioneer fashion. We're just breaking our back. So. So Jim's building up a little fire here on the ice, kind of a nice idea to keep us warm. Maybe yeah. cook some hot dogs even. Let's we'll see. Oh, hi, Belly. Oh, you good girl. Good girl. Look, we're like, we're like a quarter duck. Good boy. Yeah! I think we might be getting her pretty soon here. This is my own un uneducated opinion. Yes. Yes! So Ryan is really earning his worth here because I couldn't get the snowblower going and he did just by using some old um, hacks that you know people smarter than I know. I think maybe we're going to get her going uh, which is going to be the morale boost that we all need here. Uh, yesterday was quite a slog in in the pitch black really hard probably took a good three hours of non-stop back breaking labor. And uh, so a little morale boost like having the snowblower rolling would be pretty nice. He's done it! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Woo! Woo! Ryan has saved the day. Look at the devastation on everyone's faces that you don't get the shovel anymore. <laughs> I know you guys were really looking forward to that exercise. So, after a 5k deep snow marathon in the pitch black and minus 20, and a little bit of elbow grease getting this thing shoveled, we have a rink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. That's awesome. I'm around the bottom of my ankle from rolling my ankle like continuum. The cup. Hey, you ever eaten a squirrel? 
Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like uh, cantaloupe. <laughs> cantaloupe? Brown squirrel from North Carolina. <laughs> he dropped in the head as a child. <laughs> I'm having fun. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this again. There's some chipotle so mayo there, you know? Yeah. Oh, ew. Thanks, buddy. Mmm. It's the best walrus hot dog I've ever had. What part of the walrus? The knee. Okay, so this is our change room, which is actually a boathouse slip. Works out really nicely because it's like little benches and stuff like that. We finished shoveling the rink and went for a bit of skate, had some hot dogs around the fire. Um, and now we're gonna play a very serious advanced game of hockey. Full contact uh, fighting is allowed. <laughs> Just kidding. Martin clued me into that. He's like, because when I went camping with him, mm -hmm. he was asking like, what footwear you did have. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, that's smart, because I always bring extra boots. Like I always bring yeah. two pairs. <laughs> yeah. Game face. Holy. Wait. Yeah, that's nice. Flooding like is that. easier than anything. I'm finding this rink to be very small, though. 
It is. It's like, like the I don't like I, 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 But if even though it's like you don't have to skate. Yeah. <laughs> but if it was any bigger, how much more tired would you be right now? Well, yes, but I also feel like I'm just trying so hard all the time, right, you know? <laughs> Works pretty good. Yep. It's good because when you flood the rink, unless you have like one of those squeegee rink rake things, it all the snow pushes from the water and then it freezes as bumps everywhere. So yeah. the more snow you can get off the better. I mean, we'll still get a bit of that, but I'm sure throwing some water on this is gonna help because it's uh, it's not uh, the smoothest surface as of yet, but yeah. that's what pond hockey's all about, right? Exactly. Get out your brooms, a little tip, <laughs> a push broom. Pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a lot better than it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> you on, you're like, oh. Yeah, that that pressure crack there is the crack of death. It's and here's another one. This is a, that's the thing about lakes and ponds. Yeah. You know, you don't really get that on uh, on shore. You know, so kind of yeah. it's kind of the trade-off. You know, you might break an ankle, break a knee, yeah. and then hopefully they're on the other team. And you know. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just gonna throw a sheet of water on the ice. I'm gonna punch a hole with an auger and uh, use a, a fire pump to flood the rink. Hopefully it freezes up so that we can skate after dinner. Uh, it's pretty bumpy and sketchy, so hopefully this makes it better, but fingers crossed. the rink all flooded and uh, it's looking pretty good had to take a lot of water because it's pretty choppy and there was some slush down there hopefully it tightens up freezes uh, so we can skate after dinner but made sense to throw some water on it now and skate later but um, it's pretty it's a work of art a rink it's nice to look at work of art that looks gorgeous Oh, what a snuggly boy. Adorable. <laughs> you the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty cute though. Should we throw dollar bills at you guys? Yeah. You guys. Take my money. You guys. <laughs> You like playing boot goalie, Heather? Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, not something I do often or anything, but uh, I'm comfortable with my ice spikes. It's pretty fun, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> pretty much learned to skate on an outdoor rink. And so that's a fond memory of mine. My parents always take me out. I think I have a picture of when I was like three years old. Skating around. Um, yeah, growing up playing hockey, playing shinny was like 
you know, a way we could practice, kind of hone our skills in, and it was always just a good time. As a kid, you know, going to the beaver pond, shoveling it off, having to haul a tent in the woods, wherever the nearest pond was, uh, things like that. But that's, that's how you learn. Some of the best hockey players that I've played with, they just had a pond in their backyard, and they were just phenomenal. Yeah. So, I, I would say, like, for parents, if, if they're thinking about putting a net or a, a rink in for their kids, go ahead and do it. You know, by all means. Yeah. It becomes like a neighborhood thing. Like, now yeah. the neighbor's kids come over and yeah. they just stay busy, and it's just like endless amounts of fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's something so nostalgic about yeah. a game pond hockey or an outdoor rink. And um, um, we, sh we all seem to share a different version of the same story. Uh, anywhere the temperature drops to where you could have ice, and that includes, uh, you know, family and friends and brothers and sisters and uh, incredible people that have spent all their hard work and time flooding the rink for entire communities. It's, it's, they're amazing stories. They bring whole communities together. They get people out just having fun and one of the things that's so great is that everybody of all different skill sets seems to be included. Pure fun. In today's day and age, often winters seem to be getting warmer and a lot of the hockey is moved inside. And that can get quite expensive. You have to pay for the ice time. Outdoor rinks are free. You have a slotted time. Sometimes it's not only shinny. Everyone's not included. You need equipment. Outdoor hockey, you know, you could just get some handy down skates or just have skates and stick and learn to enjoy the game and have fun. It wasn't a big investment and find out if you liked it and wanted to pursue it or just go out and be able to practice endlessly. I mean, some of the best players in the world have uh, learned on outdoor ice and spent hours and hours practicing and that kind of thing, just bringing communities together, giving people something to do. Uh, you know, you play from sunrise to sunset just endlessly, like so much of your life has been on the rink and uh, it's just, it's a really good thing and I think a lot of people have some really awesome memories of that and it would be interesting to hear uh, if you have a story like that to, to share it. <laughs> Are you ever cute? Oh, I mean, little goalie. I have learned that being a goalie is terrifying. Oh, you're so the cutest goalie <laughs> that's ever lived. It's a lovely night. There's no wind. We've got this beautiful crescent moon behind me. And uh, yeah, it was just all around good, good Canadian fun. It looked all yeah. like driftwood. You can I was tell. Like, Pull over. The boathouse. No. Like, We're having a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Follow Nate Muskoka on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared for the onslaught of followers. He's an excellent photographer. Follow me, Oh, my God. 
That's my bushcraft lesson of the day. Uh, I heard that like basically what I'm doing is you might break it. Uh, charge this battery apparently. It was plugged in over there. Like really close to it. Interstate highway somewhere and running. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for a third, okay. <laughs> sort of a country feel shot. All right, I'm here with uh, Karina and Ryan of uh, Karina's channel is Alexis Outdoors. Got to check it out. Some awesome content there. Super fun. These two get up to some wicked adventures with their pup Grizz. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, to make you all uh, aware of that. So you can go head over there. What what are people going to find over on uh, Lexus Outdoors? You'll find a bit of everything. I do a bit of bushcraft. I just, uh, I'm just doing a series right now, a little bushcraft shelter that I made. And I just stayed out there. So you'll see a, a little bit of that. Also, we have uh, canoe season coming up here. Um, and we like to do some lightweight canoe trips, and we'll be, we'll, we've got a few of those in store this summer. So yeah, just a mix of everything, getting outdoors. Yeah, easily accessible trips for the everyday person, not too crazy warrior. trips, you know, because uh, that's that's what uh, what we are. That's all we can do right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, a lot of the places they get uh, they get out to are just incredibly beautiful and just amazing nature and uh, you know tranquil, calm, calm areas that are just uh, really nice to just just see. So the scenery is amazing. So uh, go check them out. And then they got this little pup Grizz here, who's just you know the show. arguably one of the you know or maybe <laughs> maybe the cutest. Uh, the, cutest dog on YouTube? No, it's not as cute as our dog. Well. <laughs> uh, Sean claims his dog's the cutest on YouTube, so. Yeah, I don't know Sean. Anyway, right. they're pretty cute. <laughs> so you'll see Grizz there snuggled in bows and toboggans and all kinds of cute stuff. So yeah, anyway, go check them out. Super cool. Thanks guys. Cheers. And they're pretty damn good at hockey too. Yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, not too cold, not too warm, good traveling conditions and a broken trail all the way back. So yeah, we're just going to probably strap on some snowshoes or, or not and some skis and we're going to start heading out here. We're just loading up the pulks and everything like that. And we got a 5k trek to uh, get back to the road. Uh, so it should be an interesting way to end the event. Of course, uh, hopefully a lot easier than the walk into. I imagine it will definitely be that. Two hours. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Have a good time later, bro. Everyone's waiting for Nate. We're in a rush. I got a new life. <laughs> that's the next song after that on the album. We're in a rush. <laughs> I think that's the first. Get the stick. <laughs> She's good. Eh? She is good. 
Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 